How do we identify fracture mandible clinically? So there are a lot of uh, clinical signs apart from malocclusion, which helps us in identifying uh, mandibular fractures. So important one is malocclusion, wherein teeth are no longer in alignment. Then there is step deformity at the lower border. There is crepitus uh, over the bone. There can be trismus because of pain. There can be paresthesia in the distribution of inferior alveolar nerve or the mental nerve. One of the important overlooked signs is ecchymosis in the floor of mouth. It suggests the breach in the lingual cortex. So that is also almost, I would say, pathognomic of fracture mandible. Then there can be intraoral breed deviation of the tin, uh, chin of uh, the mandible on mouth opening. So these are a few of the clinical signs, a thorough clinical examination and uh, investigations ensures accurate diagnosis and management.